What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at Keyshot 10's RealCloth 2.0 and learn how you can use it to create realistic mesh from a variety of different materials. Aside from UI updates, Keyshot 10 RealCloth has significantly upped its game with the addition of 3D ply geometry, and with it has made workflows for creating mesh-like geometry easier than ever. To create mesh geometry in Keyshot, you're going to want to start with a UV mapped surface the same way you would for any other real cloth application. You can map your UVs either in your modeling software of choice or by using Keyshot's UV unwrap tool if you're using Keyshot 9 and above. Once your model is properly prepped, the fastest way to get started creating mesh like materials is to choose a preset real cloth material from the materials tab in the project panel. From here, you can select a material that shares a similar weave pattern to what you'd like your final material to look like. In this case, I'm choosing a plain weave mesh material to create a basic mesh pattern. However, you can create different types of mesh patterns by using preset real cloth materials with different weaves or by creating your own custom pattern using the edit weave pattern window. It's important to note that for this workflow to be successful, you'll need to enable 3D ply geometry under the display options in the property sub tab. Once enabled, your geometry should update automatically. If it does not, click on the execute geometry icon located in the top right corner of the real time view or find it at the bottom of your property sub tab. Now you're ready to create a mesh with a material of your choosing. At this point, you'll want to open the material graph and locate your real cloth node. You'll then change the real cloth's output from the surface input to the geometry input, and notice that your object surface adopts a crosshatched blue pattern. At this point, locate the material you would like your mesh to be made from, drag and drop it into the material graph, and attach it to the surface input of the parent material. Your geometry should once again automatically update, resulting in a mesh weave made of your newly applied material. At this point, you can continue to make tweaks to your weave pattern and material settings to further dial in the material effect that works best for you. This is a great way to make everything from metal mesh to wicker and can quickly and easily increase the believability of your Keyshot scenes. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 10 quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.